Yo guys, how is it going? I hope everyone is having a brilliant day today. Welcome to episode 2 of season 2 here with Manchester City on FIFA 18. As you can see, we've got three players on our shortlist. Jimenez, a centre-back from Atletico Madrid, 84 overrated, 23 years old, valued at £29 million. But as you can see, on the right-hand side below all these information, Bayern Munich actually have approached to sign Jimenez. So that's the first thing I'm going to do in this episode, try and beat Bayern Munich to Jimenez's signature, Fabinho, central midfielder, 24 years old, 84 overrated as well, valued at £30 million. He does have a release clause of 51.3, but just below that it says we might have to offer between 28.6 and £40 million. So I don't think I'm actually going to go have to go as high as £51.3 million to actually sign him. So we won't be paying any release clause in today's episode. Drakowski, young Polish goalkeeper, 20 years old, playing for Fiorentina. We don't know nothing about him. So I've sent a scout out and we're waiting for a scout report to come back within 18 days because I want to go into negotiations, not just with him, but with any player because I don't want negotiations to come crashing down because I've not offered enough money. So I'd rather get it done first time. So the first thing we're going to do in today's episode is put a transfer offer for Jimenez. So the first transfer fee I'm going to offer for Jimenez is £35 million. Hopefully they are going to accept that. £50 million and a sell-on clause of 5%. I mean, if they stay stern on £50 million for the whole negotiations, I will actually pay, pay that, to be honest, because he's 23 years old, 84 overrated. He's only going to get better, but I am going to try and get a better deal. I'm going to offer £40 million. I think they might accept £40 million. No, they're staying strong on £50 million as their price tag. So, do you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and accept £50 million. All we have to do is negotiate a contract for him and to try and beat Bayern to his signature. But before I do that, I'm going to put in an offer for Fabinho. Nope, I'm not paying his release clause of £51 million. The first offer I'm going to put in for Fabinho is his valuation. Hopefully, they will accept that first time. That would be absolutely brilliant. Submit offer, £30 million. £47 million. Okay, that is definitely not getting paid. I'll up my offer by 5 million. Hopefully, they'll bring their price tag down. 47, no. Oh, my God. Right, counter. Propose new transfer fee. I'm going to offer 38.5. I mean, I know we've got loads of money to work with, but 47 million pounds, that's a fair offer. Okay, I was thinking about putting it up to 40, but... 38.5, that's a pretty good deal. 8 million over his valuation, which is pretty decent. 24 years old, he's only going to get better as well, like Jimenez. So, all we have to do now is negotiate contracts. So, first up is Jimenez, and the squad role I'm going to give him is important first team player. Will they accept that? I'm not so sure. He might want crucial first team player. Great, that's what we were hoping for. Right, contract length, he wants a five year contract, definitely. 23 years old. So I'll accept that as well. Next up is wage. Release clause of 78 million. I'm happy to accept that. I am really happy to accept that. I was thinking about 60, 50, 60 maybe for a release clause. But let's talk money. His current wage is 61,000. So I think I'll offer him 80,000. I know they're going to come back with additional fees. £68,000 a week, sign a bonus of 900 and 5 clean sheets for 470000 Do you know what? That's pretty decent. I'm going to go ahead and accept that. Jimenez is officially a Manchester City player. Next up, Fabinho. So the squad role we are going to give Fabinho is exactly like Jimenez, important first team player. Will they accept that? That's what they were hoping for. Making progress, right years on his contract he's 24 one year older than Jimenez so I'm gonna offer a five-year contract will he accept that yep next up release clause do you know what I'm gonna propose a release clause of 60 million pound that's why I was gonna offer Jimenez but they come back with they wanted 78 million pound will they accept 60 million yep they can agree on that release clause right money 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 current wage is 43,000 so think I'll offer him 65 I know like Jimenez they're gonna come back with additional fees no that's a fair offer no additional fees whatsoever Fabinho as well as Jimenez is officially a Manchester City player right 
two very good signings indeed. I'm surprised he didn't come back with any additional fees and stuff like that. But let's get into the second pre-season game in this group and get ourselves through to the knockout stages. Vincent Company plays it forward here to Marlos Moreno. In front of him is Kevin De Bruyne. Right, here we go. Sergio Aguero onto his left foot. Look at the left-hand side. Leroy Sarni surely for 1-0. Good first touch. And across the keeper is a decent save. And they get it away. Leroy Sarni should I have taken that a bit closer to the goal. I think I should have done. He hit it with the outside of his boot as well. And I think in the end, I think it was near enough straight at the goalkeeper. Someone of Leroy Sarni's capability really should be finishing that but here we go Aguero is still on the attack inside to Isco over the top here to Moreno it's not the best of passes but can we still get it no it's going to be a goal kick as well isn't it the defender has hit it off Moreno and it's a goal kick 18 minutes in and it really should be 1-0 great ball through from Kevin De Bruyne into Sergio Aguero a couple of step overs onto his left foot over the top to the left hand side no it's a great tackle oh, I wanted to play it through to Isco but that was a brilliant, brilliant tackle. Ten minutes before the break. And Fabinho, again, I tell you, Fabinho and Goretzka might be a lethal partnership. Look at Moreno on the right-hand side. Here we go across the keeper for 1-0. He's hit it wide. As I was saying, Fabinho in this game so far is doing exactly what Goretzka does. Interception after interception. I tell you what, Fabinho and Goretzka, like I said, might be a lethal two-man midfield might be I'm gonna have to definitely try them out I think Fabinho and Goretzka are gonna be the two starters in midfield in the opening game of the Premier League or the next game actually because it's only the second game in this preseason tournament I'm definitely gonna have to try out that partnership Leroy Sane on the ball into Isco right Fabinho in quite a bit of space there up to Kevin De Bruyne over the top here to Leroy Sane no it's not Leroy Sane is it it's Sergio Aguero but it gets intercepted anyway, but Leroy Sane intercepts that up to Kevin De Bruyne, not onto his right foot. Here we go. We're going to try the dinky chip to the back post. The dinking chip to the back post almost beat the goalkeeper, but in the end, it was a decent save seconds before the break. Here we go. Can we go 1-0 up? No, I think that's way too close to the goalkeeper, but he's punched it. Why is he punching it? There was no one near him. He could have easily caught that. But Isco with the cross to the back post. Sergio Aguero. Is it Sergio Aguero? No, yes, it is. Totally lost my mind there. It is Sergio Aguero. What a header to the back post. Wow, seconds before the break. Great cross, great header, great goal. 1-0. Get in there. Fabinho on the ball here. Out to the left-hand side in Leroy Sane. Sergio Aguero, good first touch. Ooh, I thought that was going in. I really, really thought that was going in. That would have literally killed the game off. Sergio Aguero, great first touch. And I think maybe the keeper would have had it covered anyway, but... Whistles past the post. First shot of the second half has come for us, and it could have easily been 2 0. Gustavo, nice little back heel to the left hand side, and Gutierrez. Dembel now on the ball. Can we make a tackle here with Moreno? No, he's totally skipped past me somehow. Gustavo, Gutierrez, this is great play. Gustavo! Off the side netting. The keeper left it. I thought it was flying into the top corner. When the, the net rustled, I thought, oh my god, it's a goal, but. I think way past the post, the keeper easily knew that was going past the post. 53 minutes in, that is their first shot of the game. And to be honest, I really thought it was 1-1. Leroy Sane to the right-hand side. Raheem Sterling, is it over here? Is it over here? No, I think Raheem Sterling is going to keep this in. Turn, whipping across. It's a dangerous one. Gabriel Jesus! Oh my god, I could have even taken a touch to be honest. But Gabriel Jesus really should be finishing that. How the hell are we not 2 nil up at least? This is ridiculous. I'm all over this team and somehow they are still in the game. Descender on the ball. This is good play, but thankfully Jimenez is there to intercept. Bad touch from the goalkeeper. And thankfully, I am hopefully going to clean up. Fernando, Raheem Sterling inside to Fabinho. Forward here is Gabriel Jesus. Going to play it to the right-hand side and Raheem Sterling. Back to Gabriel Jesus maybe. To the right-hand side and Kevin De Bruyne. What a move this is. To the back post. Patrick Roberts is just over here. And the defender gets back and does well. Fine. What a move that was, though. That was a ridiculously good move. We get a corner. Can we kill this game off? Leroy Sane whips it in. It's a very good corner, but it gets headed away to Patrick Roberts, I think this is. Yep. Out to the right-hand side and Raheem Sterling. On the edge of the box is Kevin De Bruyne. Oh, what a turn. Kevin De Bruyne. Hit it wide. I just can't seem to hit the target. What is going on? Four minutes left to play, and it is still 1-0. And basically, it's still game on. 
There we go, two wins out of two, and I seriously don't know how it wasn't more than one goal, to be honest, but three points is all that matters, and I think that will be us into the semi-finals of this pre-season tournament. Raheem Sterling on the ball here, nice and early on the charge forward, through here to Zinchenko, back onto his right foot, a strike from Zinchenko, back out to the left-hand side, and Raheem Sterling going to put in a cross, what a cross, has fallen nicely here for Bernardo Silva, but hasn't worked out, but Goretzka doing what Goretzka does best, keeping a possession. Goretzka to his left-hand side is Gabriel Jesus. Way wide of the target, but what a start to this match. Could have easily been 1-0 already. Goretzka with the interception. Zinchenko, Gabriel Jesus. A little 1-2 maybe. Surely, Ref has a free kick. Got taken out. I was going to do a nice little 1-2 between Foden and Gabriel Jesus, but Gabriel Jesus got taken out. How the hell was that not a free kick, ref? Come on. But they are on the move forward here. Out to the right-hand side, but Douglas Louise, No, it's Humphreys Grant, sorry. But now Zinchenko, Douglas Louise, Phil Foden. Right-hand side is Bernardo Silva. What an attack this is. Bernardo Silva crossing the back post. Zinchenko's arriving. Why did you not header it? Why not just a cute little header into the open net? Why are you trying to... Well, not open net, but near enough open net. The keeper weren't nowhere near the near post. Unbelievable. Should have been 1-0 13 minutes in. Douglas Luiz with the interception to his right-hand side is Goretzka. Right, here we go. Can we go on the attack again? Nice little pass through to Bernardo Silva from Phil Foden. And to turn it back onto his right foot. Put a cross at the back post. Who's arriving? It's Raheem Sterling on the volley. And he's hit it. I don't know if it went over or did it go wide. This is a perfect angle. Look at that cross. Unbelievable. He's kind of slight. It wasn't far wide. He sliced it. But it wasn't far wide of the post whatsoever. Twent, like I just said, it's only a matter of time before we break the deadlock. Gabriel Jesus. Right. What can we do here? Going to find Sinchenko maybe? Yep. It's a good pass as well. But where the hell is my support? A couple of step overs. Turn inside. He's done it nicely. Here we go. Going to play it to his right hand side. And Gabriel Jesus. Lay it off. To Douglas Costa. What a strike. What a save. I'm not sure if it was sneaking in to that bottom corner or not. But still a very good save from the goalie. Here we go. Corner kick. Let's open the scoring finally. It's a very good cross. Goretzka straight at the goalkeeper. Either side of him. It was a powerful header. Either side of him. Surely it would have been 1-0. Goretzka on the ball. Out to the right-hand side. Look at the space here for Patrick Roberts. Through here to is this... Phil Foden, yes it is, back onto his left foot, a strike from Phil Foden, way wide of the target, just over 15 minutes left to play, I mean, I don't think Atlanta, I don't want to eat my words, <laughs> I don't think Atlanta are actually going to go and grab a goal and end up winning this game, so if it does finish 0-0 and we pick up a point, we are still going to top the group and go through to the semi-final, so it's not a big deal, but here we go, Gabriel Jesus to the right-hand side and Phil Foden, what an interception, Oh, it's fallen back to Gabriel Jesus. Lay it off to the right-hand side. Another great interception. Two brilliant interceptions in the space of 10 seconds. Wow, unbelievable. Now Keiko on the ball to his right-hand side. This is good play. Tackle from Mangala. And surely it's going to be a free kick. No, but it's fallen here to Gressel. And thankfully, in the end, it's an easy save. That was so scrappy. That was unbelievably scrappy. I thought it was a free kick, but... And I've just given the ball away. Perez on the ball to the left-hand side. And Keiko! And thankfully, it's past the post. Right. Eight minutes left to play. And all of a sudden, I've become very, very scrappy. I don't know what is going on. I'm definitely getting rid of this ball. So the game has finished nil-nil, which is not a bad thing whatsoever. We still go through as group winners, but we definitely should have won. I have to say, though... I'm very happy with the squad we have. The players that have come back from loan that were out on loan last season, of course, i.e. Douglas Costa, Foden, Patrick Roberts, I've really enjoyed using them. And they've done pretty well so far as well. So I'm excited to see how they do once the season kicks off. So that, of course, is going to wrap up this episode. Guys, three clean sheets in the three group games, which was good because we're using a new formation, especially three at the back as well. 2-0, 1-0, and it should have been another victory there, but I'll happily take 0-0 and through as group when it's in the semi-finals of this preseason tournament. As you can see, we have PSG. So in the next episode, it'll be the semi-finals against PSG and hopefully the final of the preseason tournament as well. But if it's not then I'm not sure what to do because I would love that to be 
one episode to be honest the community shield and the copper euro what a first competitive episode of the season that would be but that is going to wrap up this episode i hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see you in the next one thanks so much for watching guys have an amazing day peace